Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie and this is a Cadence Theme Pro tutorial video where I show you how to design this mobile navigation bar to the bottom to revolutionize your WordPress site business. According to Statista website, mobile devices generate nearly 60% of global website traffic. And the most popular internet activities worldwide include watching movies, videos online, and accessing social media. Some UI and UX mistakes to avoid in 2024 are the use of too many controls, options, widgets, and buttons, and these overload users with information. In UX, simplicity is crucial, so being difficult to navigate or lacking key features highlights the need for change. The Cadence theme is a powerful tool for website design and customization, and by using the Cadence Header Builder, we come up with clear solution helping e-commerce website owners. In order to work properly, make sure we enable the Cadence Theme Pro, Header Add-ons, Ultimate, Menu, Hooked Elements, inside the Cadence Team dashboard. With Cadence Pro Elements, we can create a sticky mobile photo menu to the bottom. Cadence Hooked Elements is a feature available in the Cadence Pro plugin that lets you create your content based on your parameters and place it exactly where you need it on a page. So let's start by adding a new Cadence element. You access the Cadence elements from your WordPress dashboard, click to add a new one. It comes with four types of Cadence elements. Content section type where you create a content section that can be inserted to any area of your website, a fixed section, the one I will use today to create an element that will be fixed on your site in a area you specify. The template type is to replace an area of your website with your custom template and the HTML editor where you add in your code for more advanced users. So I click on the fixed section, I give it a name. Inside WordPress editor, I drop in a cadence section, not a row, a section block to start off. And here are my settings. Flex direction, I set it to row, alignment, a space evenly, and this gap is this one. I want to assign a color, a background color. So under the advanced tab, I set a minimum height of 90 pixels vertical alignment i set to middle instead of bottom the z index control i set mine to be 200 it should be fine and for us for the padding i had 20 pixels all around now next i will use the icon block to add my menu items so click on the plus icon I search for icon, this one, and from the right sidebar, you can change the icon. Here, I search for a home, there it is. And then under the link option, you will assign here homepage. Enter, and then press this icon to make the linking. Next up, next up, and I will open the list view so you can follow along. You select the icon, this inner block container, and I click on this, add another icon. So click on it. Once more, I want four menu items. Okay, now I change accordingly. We can stylize the Icon. So I select the single icon, I go with the icon style and I assign a border radius of 50 pixels. I repeat the same for the second one, stack it 50 pixels, border radius. I put a, a, bar, a top border, select the section, locate the border styles. Select a solid one and check. I just want to be on top. So this one 
there you have it and uh, lastly let's adjust the icons alignment so select the icon container this one and then simply increase the icons gap to this one i only want this to display on mobile devices so select the section under visibility settings enable to hide on desktop and on tablet so that only on mobile will be visible now for the cadence element settings click on this little pencil icon and we need to set up the placement so there are a lot of options but for this particular tutorial i go with the fixed bottom no space below footer the priority is set to 10 and the width is 100 percent the display settings you define it here if you want to show on the entire site or just a specific page i go with this entire site and the user settings is set to all users and the device settings i go only to display on a mobile and that's it and now at the front end this is my web page let's inspect this well it's just working fine a desktop view the footer just design it's hidden and it really looks pretty good to me you could also have the manual labels inside wordpress editor but for the sake of this tutorial video i just wanted to show you how easy it is inside cadence team the next thing you should do now is to watch this next video you are having on the screen to learn how to create a stunning cadence theme homepage design. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Natalie. I will catch you in the next one.